I think the greatest challenge that it has is probably to define who it is and what kind of contributions it can make to the rice world. Time has changed, I mean, over the last 50 years or 47 years, okay? Uh, we can, it cannot do the things that it started to do before, was to improve rice uh, technology and to learn more about rice science and things like that. Okay? I mean, we have come 47 years from that goal. Uh, what we have to define what it is now, your goal. What, who it is now that are your clients. What it is that they expect from you. And what it is that you will contribute to the rice world. What does the rice world need? See, like for me, I'm defining uh, the role of the Thai Rice Foundation and the Royal Patronage, for example, together with the people in Thailand. We have to sit down and say, what is our role? What can we do to make a difference? Um, should we help doing research? No, we said, because the national system had a bundle of science scientists and money. What can we do to do that? Then we look and we said, maybe what we should do is worry about the fact that Thailand will not have uh, more farmers anymore. Because farmers are disappearing. It is not a very lucrative profession. It is not a very high power profession. Uh, not going to support the uh, families of the farmers very well and things like that. In no time. And they don't, farmers don't want their children to be farmers. Everybody knows. Then we look in the future and we say, in 10, 20 years from now, there'll be no more farmers. This guy's going to die already. The next generation will not become farmers. That's what these farmers borrow money to send their kids to school in big cities so that they remain there and don't come back to the farm and suffer like they do. Now, therefore, we at the, uh, at the Thai Rice Foundation were saying, oh, maybe our, one of the things we ought to do is look into this and see what we can do to help revert the trend. How can we make rice farming a more lucrative business? Something that people can take pride in and not because they have nothing else better to do, which is what most people think of rice farmers. And many other things like that. So, so we define certain projects that come out of certain things. Now this is from a very small organization in one country that we had to look and there are many other things we were thinking of doing. Now, Iri, I think we need to, like, we, we are, it's easy for us to look because we are a new organization. So we can start, you know, with our packages. But having said that, Iri is an old institution. It's like old people. Okay, how do we revive it? Not easy, is it? We are aging. Iri is aging. I'm aging. And I think to, to revive it, to become as useful as it used to be, may not be easy. I don't think it's easy for me to be as useful as I was 50 years ago, for example. Unless you reinvent something, because the, the luck of our institution is that you can reinvent its new way. People cannot. <laughs> we are having this capacity and it is going down. But all institution can be renewed, I think. And I think it should find its way, and I wish it luck. Well, I think that's what it's trying to accomplish in its new strategic mm -hmm. plan. There are elements there that are quite exciting. And I know Bob Ziegler is excited about the future and trying to uh, look at the new directions that the Institute mm -hmm. might take. I think, job. yeah, but I think there, there, there are many... I think people, could, people look at that strategic plan differently, I think. Some people think that you patch up what you have. Little. You know, because when you have somebody there already, what can you do? This is what the old institution, it's difficult to renew. Because if you are not building the strategic plan from inside, people will say this is top down, no good, and so forth, right? But if you build it from inside, it carries too much baggage. It's heavy. Because who will find the, the strategy and work plan that make him out of job tomorrow? Nobody. I work in strategic plan, I know. It is a fight all the way 
between top down and bottom up. Neither one is the best solution. So I think that is what the institute, as always, is struggling. And I can see that in the, strategic, the new strategic plan.